In this video, I'm going to share with you how to stop the stretch running concept in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all focused in on how can we help people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We release videos every single day to help you become a better Madden player. And so if you want to get the latest offensive and defensive tips in the Madden community, then feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date on all of the material. All right, guys. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a deep dive into the stretch running concept and share with you kind of how I would recommend you going about stopping this running concept. So um, this can be specific. The, today's video is going to be a specific run defense that I like to use out of the 335 wide. You can apply this concept to other formations as well. But personally, in my opinion, the 335 wide is the best defense in the game. And so if you want to get my full 335 wide defensive guide, I'm going to put that in the description so that you can get access to that that way. But today the video is going to be focused on a run defense specifically out of the 335 wide. So if we want to stop stretch, you're going to see that I'm audibly over to the cover two man out of the 335 wide. You have that in your audibles. And the first step that I'm going to take is I'm always going to shift my defensive line to the side of strength. So in this example, if I'm facing something like an I-form tight, then I'm going to shift my defensive line to the side that the wide receiver is on. As you can see, the wide receiver is on the left side, so I'm going to shift my defensive line that direction. The next step that I'm going to take is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crash my defensive line out. As you can see right here, they're going to crash out just like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and man up that blitzing linebacker onto the guy that my user is guarding. So in this case, it is the R1 player. And then I'm going to put my user on a little purple zone. Whenever you are trying to stop the run, you really want to put your player on a zone. You don't want him to be like in the run fit because then the linemen are going to know that he's coming. So you kind of want to be backed off. And honestly, you want to be backed off. At, you, know, you don't want to be this far back, but you want to be kind of back in here. Okay, so like a little bit off here. And then if it's a stretch run to the right, basically my rule of thumb is I like to go ahead, if it's a run to me, then I'm a, if it's an outside run to me, then I'm going to shoot the gap. I'm either going to shoot this gap here or I'm going to shoot this gap here. So if they try to run wide, okay, so if it's like a stretch or a toss, then I'm going to shoot this gap right here. If they try to run to the left side, then I'm going to want to shoot this gap right here. And, you know, if you have a chance or opportunity, I love to bring these safeties over the tackles. I just think it helps a little bit with the overall run defense. But what you'll see here is we're going to be able to kind of blow the stretch up, as you can see. Now, I want to pause and I'm going to talk a little bit about this run defense in instant replay. Now, I didn't spy any safeties. I didn't have to do any of that. This was just a simple shoot the gap bro kind of defense. So if you take a look here, you're going to notice that that every stretch run the guard and the tackle are really trying to make a push to the outside and so it does leave a nice little window of opportunity for you to be able to shoot right through even with the fullback there oftentimes that fullback is going to be shooting to the outside and so as you can see here we're able to really shoot that gap right in between them now let me talk for a second uh, a brief second here about a stretch run to the opposite direction so i'm going to audible that cover two man Whenever you're setting up a run defense, it is my personal recommendation that you build your run defense in Madden 21 out of man-to-man -man defense. Whenever you can build it out of man-to-man -man defense, it's better, in my opinion, because the zone coverages, whenever you snap, whenever they snap the ball, the zone coverages will kind of move your players into a position will, where it won't be as advantageous for you. So we're going to shift our defensive line to the right. We're going to crash our line out. We're going to go ahead and man up that linebacker onto the fullback. And then we're just going to kind of sit right in here. So if they, for whatever reason, go with the weak side stretch, what you're going to notice is I'm going to shoot right through the middle. Okay, and I don't always win this. Uh, I don't always do a great job of this particular shoot. Um, in my opinion, you have to practice this a little bit. I'm a little bit out of practice. So let me show you that one more time. So again, I'm going to shift this way. And then I'm going to man him up just like this right here. And all they've done is they play maker the run to the left. So if they do that, again, I'm just shooting right in here. As you can see, and naturally with the 335 wide, it will actually normally do a really good job of being able to go ahead and you know get through and make some things happen for you. 
So it's not necessarily, you know, you don't have to do everything yourself with this defense. That's why I like it so much. But again, you're going to notice that this little center is going to, see how he's trying to get out there? I can shoot to the left. I can't, like you, you saw right there, I can't always shoot through the, the middle. But what I can do, again, if I'm standing right in here like this, I can kind of follow the run downhill. So um, you see there, stretch right. Whoops, I'm sorry. I thought I was, I thought I was setting it up to run to the left side. But in this situation, so again, I'm going to move this way just like so. I'm going to go ahead and, and man up that linebacker. And then I'm just going to put this guy right in this area. So you see that the, the gap opportunity should be right in there. As long as I'm backed off enough, you're going to see that I can kind of get in. That's what I'm looking for right there. That's exactly what I'm looking for right there. It's a little bit more difficult to shoot gaps whenever you're using two controllers. But it is actually, again, in the game, you, this is exactly what I want to have happen. So you see right here, because your user's over here, there's no, the center is kind of not planning to go guard your user. So you're able to kind of slide right in here and be able to make this tackle. Now let's say for example, um, let's just say for example, that this, you know, you're in this position and you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna be able to make it through. If you wanted to, you could just kind of wrap around. This is not because of where you've shifted all your guys. You really, they're probably not gonna, the cutback is probably not there. It's really the wide run that they're trying to get outside. So if you can just go ahead, if you see like a stretch to the left, you can also just wrap around. I'll show you that on this example of the run defense. I'll just show you, this is just like an example of like, let's say for, you know, a situation where, you know, you might be in a position where you just need to kind of, um, you know, protect everything. So it's like we're here. So then right here, you see, I'm just going to run wide and kind of protect it. And as you can see, we're able to stop it in the backfield. So the natural, you know, you can do both options, both work. One's a little bit more aggressive than the other, and one's a little bit more reliant on your user than the other. But they both work really, really well. As you'll see right here, um, you see I can kind of run this thing from behind. And again, that's primarily because of the two controllers, but the run defense is very, very stout. Now I get a lot of questions about what if they did something like this? Uh, what if they took this guy, Lewis, whoops, let's see if I can get, let's see if I can go to like a single back. Um, what if they went to, of course I don't have it here, um, but like what if they went to a single back ace type of situation? Well, that's where I just say, okay, you know, which, where are the hashes at, right? Where are the hashes at? So like if they're in an ace close type, this is like the carry Q style offense and they're running some type of stretch. These stretches are normally the defense that I'm running actually does a typically a pretty good job of stopping it. But what I would just do is to the wide side of the field. I would shift them to the wide side of the field. The only difference is on the back side, what I would do is I would take this guy and I might put him in like a, a you know, either a, an inside third or spy. One of the two is going to help with the run defense. And again, if they run right, you see that why is a wide open gap for you to be able to run to. If they run left, it's the same exact thing. So let me flip the play now. And this is what's happened is really, if you think about it, they've moved that fullback into a very honestly not a great position, especially if you can shoot the gap well. So you're gonna see here, this is a run to the left side. And you see, I can just kind of come in here and the defense naturally is gonna be able to take care of that. So in my opinion, this is the best way to defend the stretch run in Madden 21. And if you're looking for the best defense in Madden 21, in my personal opinion, it is the 335 wide defense. So if you want to get my full 335 wide defensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to be able to get that defense for just $15. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about the defense, go ahead and text me. My cell phone number is 208-218-6900. But I'm going to leave a link for you to be able to get that full 335 wide defensive guide for just $15. And I'm going to put that link in the description for you. Have a great day, guys.